We can see that we deal with a slightly over four centimeter uh, cancer and we'll try to do a complete ablation of this tumor. We'll use a cryo ablation and we're very uh, careful about getting a safety margin in the internal part of the tumor, which obviously is uh, more difficult to achieve. I will likely use uh, four ice rod probes trying to get a large volume of ablation. The procedure will be ultrasound guided because the tumor is nicely seen under ultrasound. So during this case, we'll use a four cryo probe, which has an ice rod cryo probe. They have been numbered uh, with step according to uh, where they are plugged and which channel. So we have this needle on channel number one, this needle on channel number two, this needle on channel number three, and this one on channel number four. I will now punch her. the dome of this tumor and I'm gently uh, placing my probe across the tumor and reaching uh, the edge of the liver. We can already see some ice ball on the dome of the tumor and going down along the tumor we can see my uh, cryoprobe Number two ready to enter the lower pole of the tumor. I will now try to place needle number three to the external and median part of the tumor. Here is the frozen part and here is the part uh, we want to reach. This is a probe reaching the medial and external part of the tumor. Scrolling from bottom to top, we can see that we have nicely targeted the lower part of the tumor with the two cryoprobes which are perfectly located. However, uh, needle number two needs to be pushed by uh, roughly 12 mm in order to reach uh, the deep part uh, of the tumor. It's hard to distinguish uh, the ice ball because it's a multiplanar reconstruction, but however, we can see that the maximum distance in between our needle is uh, 15 mm, which is basically the distance in between number three and number five, five being the last needle I've been placed. And hopefully, I would have loved uh, to have this uh, lower needle slightly upper, but I was not able to achieve a perfect uh, tumor targeting. Mm -hmm.